Welcome to Culture and Culinary. This is Chef Jayon here with Dr. James. How you doing today, my man? Doing fine, sir. Thanks Good for see. coming Good out, see. man. Well, let's just start from the beginning. Like, where are you guys at right now with the accreditation? How's that going? Sure. Well, Morris Brown is making history. You know, uh, I've been the president here at Morris Brown for three years. Mm -hmm. A lot of people told me I was absolutely nuts <laughs> mm -hmm. for coming here to attempt to resurrect the institution. Uh, but we've done so much. We've turned the institution around in about three years. Mm -hmm. In November of 2020, our accreditation application was approved. Mm -hmm. um, we had already gotten approved in 2019 by the Georgia, uh, state of Georgia, Georgia Non-Public Post-Secondary Education Commission. Mm -hmm. And then in uh, November of 2020, we got our application approved by our creditor. In January of 2021, they came here to the campus, mm -hmm. stayed an entire week to ascertain everything that we said that we were in the application, our mm -hmm. facilities, our faculty, staff, student services, financial stability, everything. Mm -hmm. And in April of 2021, we received our accreditation candidacy, which basically is a sign of quality. Mm -hmm. And so with the accreditation candidacy, we were deemed eligible um, to apply for federal financial aid student loans. And so in December of 2021, we had our federal financial aid reinstated. That was the big win. Huge, huge win for us. No pressure at all, though, right? No pressure, no right. pressure, no pressure. And so now we're up for full accreditation. Um, they're going to be voting on us in April of 2022. Mm -hmm. They just left here. Uh, they were here in February. And so uh, we anticipate prayerfully with everybody's prayers that we'll be fully accredited April 2022. Good. And then so for people who don't know, um, for like PWIs, now at me from from HBCU, I went to grammar. Yeah. Don't, don't jump on me. <laughs> uh, but, nothing but love. Yeah, but all HBCUs, we know what accreditation means and all that. Can you explain for people who may not know is what does that mean like when you lose accreditation? Yeah. So accreditation is synonymous with the word quality. The U.S. Department of Education requires that you meet certain standards that are indicative of being a quality institution, mm -hmm. all the way from academic services, fiscal stability, uh, good educational programs, uh, learning objectives, learning outcomes. And so uh, the accreditation is that, is that signature stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. The thing that a lot of people don't know is if you are not accredited, you're not eligible for federal financial aid. So when Morris Brown lost its accreditation at the end of 2002, the beginning of 03, we literally went from 3,000 students to 50 students overnight because we lost access to that Title IV funding. Right. And so that's why it's very, very important, not only to be accredited, but just for you know standards of service to students, but also to have access to that federal financial aid. Wow. And so with that, what was some of the biggest challenges that you faced in getting it, uh, getting that back on board? Man, it was a heavy, heavy lift. Fiscal stability. Mm -hmm. HBCUs don't get in trouble because of academics. We do the best of educating us. It's always finances, raising money, showing that you're financially stable. This is true. Having all the resources that you need to operate. We don't have the billion dollar endowment like Harvard. Right. We don't have that hundred million dollar endowment like Georgia Tech or Georgia State. Mm -hmm. So we have to do the best that we can to raise the monies that we're gonna need to operate the institution effectively and efficiently. Mm -hmm. oh, you have a deal with a uh, hotel deal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me a little about that, that's huge. So I was, I'm gonna tell you, my first week on the job, I literally was walking around this campus, these hollowed grounds, mm -hmm. and I was talking out loud to God, said, God, help me, how are we gonna save this institution? Mm -hmm. And I'm a business person, so I'm mm -hmm. thinking some kind of sustainable business. Mm -hmm. And God said, use what you got. And so I'm looking up and I'm looking directly at that building, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing that came to my mind was, what was your top academic program back in the day? Mm -hmm. Hospitality management. And I said, I know what we're gonna do to save the school. We're gonna build our own hotel tied directly to our hospitality program and let that hotel drive revenue to the institution. And then the students get hands-on learning in the hotel all four years of the college career. And so uh, we got the deal done. We're gonna be building a Hilton Hotel right here at Morris Brown College. This building that you're looking at right here will be transformed mm -hmm. into a 150 key hotel. Hilton, four star hotel. On the rooftop, you'll have a restaurant overlooking the city of Atlanta. That's pretty good. Yeah, and uh, also I used to teach at Le Cordon Bleu as well. Oh, and so it's, well, what I'm realizing is a lot more people want to cook. Absolutely. And um, I think doing that will just employ so many people in this neighborhood. I think that's a, a brilliant idea. So now you're going to be in there cooking with them or no? Man, I'm going to go in there and try to learn a little something. <laughs> uh, speaking of that, man, so what are some things you like to eat? Man, I love steak. I love shrimp. Mm -hmm. I love some nice mushrooms. I love uh, a sweet potato. You know, I'm, 
I'm an old country boy. All right, well, I'm from the country too, so you hungry? I'm hungry. All right, let's get some meat. Coaching culinary, Chef Jayon, Dr. James. See you guys in a second. Welcome back to Coaching Culinary, Dr. James. You ready to cook? I'm ready to cook, man. Let's, let's get it in. I'm gonna show you how to do a few things. All right, okay, well look. I know, I know that you love steak guy, right? Yes, sir. So this is what we're gonna do today. Medium well. We gotta get you down to medium. We're gonna work on him. Medium, we're gonna work on him. He, okay. He's a good guy. Yes, so sir. what we're gonna do today is we're gonna do a uh, Cajun ribeye with a uh, garlic mushroom sauce on top. Hey man, that sounds good. So what we wanna do first is we'll take our seasoning. This is uh, salt, black pepper, and Paul Perdon's black in his spice. I'll season, I'll show you, you do the other one. Right. It's a light coat on top because we want that flavor, but we don't want it too salty. All right. Now, if you was measuring at home, it would be a teaspoon on each side. All right. Then we're gonna take some more black in the spice and do a little bit on top to give it an even coat. This is gonna give it that uh, that uniform look whenever we uh, put it into the skillet. Okay. You know mine's gonna taste better, right? Ah. Uh, uh, do the best I can. <laughs> How's right. that? that? That's good. So we'll flip them over and then we'll do the exact same thing. All right. You know, as a Grambling man, we're used to excellence. So I just want to show you how, how it's done. Hey man, you know? hey, all HBCUs are excellent. That is true. That's how you do it, man. But the way Gremlin is set up, <laughs> what had happened was. <laughs> then we go ahead with your black and spice thin coat right over the top. Okay. Now at home, if you want to do this, you can uh, you can season this 24 hours at a time, let it marinate. If you want to season it right now, there's nothing wrong with that as okay. well. So you got options. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our butter. We're gonna go right into it. You don't want it too hot. If you're at home on, a, on an electric skillet, put this at like a six or seven because you don't want the butter to burn too fast, right? Okay. So that's what you, you want it to sizzle, but you don't want it to brown as soon as it's getting there. That means it's too hot, but this is perfect. So what we're actually going to do is we, while the butter is still just like that, we are going to put our steaks on there just like that. Boom. All right. We'll put the steaks don't come in second place. We're gonna put that <laughs> the second place in there as well. Okay. Then we wanna let this go. We're gonna add another tablespoon of butter. Okay. And we're gonna add our herbs. What do you have there, man? We have thyme and we have rosemary. Okay. Kind of give it a herb kind of flavor to it. Sure, that sounds good. Mm -hmm. And what we wanna do is get that in there now. You want those herbs, you want that to kind of marinate. See how the butter hasn't browned yet yeah. as well. You know? And, and I'm then, hungry already. Yeah, see? And so that's kind of what you want. Okay. And so we want to cook this for a minute on each side. And if we do this correctly, it should be a nice brown color. So we got downside. Let's cook for like another, another minute. Okay. All right. So after about a minute or so, we want to flip it over. And that's the color you want, that mahogany brown color. Mm. You see with the black and the spice oh, and the yeah. butter oh, dust yeah. to it? We're going to add a little bit more butter okay. because we want it. We want that butter flavor and we want the herbs and all that. So what we're going to do now, after about a minute on this side, we're going to take this, the entire skillet, and just put it in the oven and let it go like that. It'll boil for about five minutes. We'll cook it mid well since you were just <laughs> Cool. We, 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 hey man, I'll try the medium. Yes. I'll try the, you already convert got a another. convert. We convert another one. Yes. We, you already got a convert. I'll try the medium. We make things happen here on Coasty Culinary. My man, <laughs> you know what? Morris Brown, y'all okay with me? Yes, sir. Now, if you're at home, you can take it out and uh, you can put it onto like a sheet, a sheet pan or something like that. Okay. But since you know, don't just don't try this at home moment. But for chefs, we, we already know what we're doing. So yeah. we want to take just the entire skillet. Okay. We already have our oven on broil. Set the entire thing in there for five minutes. All right. So while the steak is going, we'll go ahead and get our mushroom sauce going. All right. So we'll start with our mushrooms. Mushrooms are very high on moisture with water. So we're gonna let that go for a second. You can um, you can toss it or at home, if you wanna try it, you can try that. And if you ever wanna practice, you can practice with uh, ice in the skillet. Okay. So that way if you make a mess, you're not, you're not that mad. <laughs> we'll add a tablespoon of garlic. Like butter, flavor. Doc, you like mushrooms? I like mushrooms. You know what? We'll add more mushrooms. Hey, man, add some more mushrooms in there. There we go. Like, you know what you're doing a little hey bit Hey, man, there. you know, a little something, something. <laughs> a little something, something. Mm. Don't try this at home. Mm. I'll tell you what, we'll grab that seasoning mix. We'll, we'll salt bay a little bit of that in here. This one. Mm -hmm. Do like a pinch in there. One mm. more pinch. Perfect. Next, you can hand me the uh, beef base or beef broth. Beef broth. Mm -hmm. All 
right? Mm -hmm. I would get this from the a grocery store. Uh, pour a little bit of that in there. We'll let this reduce so it's a little bit thick. Next, we'll add our heavy cream. At home, this will be one cup. Uh, heavy on the cream, huh? Mm-hmm. It's gonna reduce down, make a wonderful sauce. And you kind of see the color coming with it right now. Uh -huh. Smells good too. Yeah, definitely. And so while that sauce is going, yep. we'll come back and check on our steak. Okay. As you can see, see what it's looking like now? Oh yeah. Yeah. So we'll flip it over and let the other side get some shine too. And by the time this sauce is ready, the steak will be ready. Woo! -hoo. Ain't looking good. So next we'll grab our Dijon mustard. It's a smoky onion Dijon mustard. We'll add a teaspoon to it. And then we'll take our spatula and stir it around. Last but not least, we will add our parsley to it. Okay. Kind of pour all that in there. Pour the whole thing mm -hmm. in there. And then I'll let you start. Cool. And so with our sauce, we are done. So that's going to be the sauce. You ready to play it up? Yeah, let's do it, man. Coach and Culinary, Chef Jayon, Dr. James, we'll be back. Showtime. Hey, welcome back. Now it's time for my favorite thing, which is plate. Doc, you ready? Hey, I'm ready, man. All right, well, first thing. Smelling good. When the steak comes out, we let it rest for a couple minutes, and then we're gonna bring it right over here, and then we're gonna cut this bad boy, and then it's time to plate. All right, Doc, so now we let the steak rest. Now we're gonna cut it. So the best way we're gonna cut it is you wanna go against the grain, uh -huh. just like that. So we're gonna cut it on a slight angle. And I made it meal well for you, man. You know, <laughs> you know. Looks pretty good to me. And then what we'll do now is the parts that we cut, I'll just take and slice them on a the plate like so. So whenever we plate, I always tell students and chefs to always plate from the center. People eat with their eyes. So next we're gonna take our beautiful sauce. Yes sir. And we're gonna lay it on top just like that. The mushrooms go just, just like that on top. And I want you to try and do the same thing. All right. And we'll kind of just go in the middle and let it free flow. Yeah, look good. Well, good job. Team work. All right. Well, the next thing is, you gotta eat this. Hey, man, let's eat it. All right. Hey, we'll be right back. Coach and Culinary, Dr. James. The moment of truth, guys. Let's see what happens. Hey, and I'm gonna tell the truth now. Dig in. Yes, sir. Now, I don't know if he's sharing his plate with everybody else. No. Uh, I guess not. We're Perfect. Not, you're not sharing it? Mm -hmm. No? All right. I'll be glad. All right. You are a guest. Well, while Dr. James Eaton, thanks for having us. Thanks for the interview and the good information. People Thank you, sir. To know. Um, he's ignoring me because he wants to eat. So, I'm going to let him eat. Dr. James, Chef Jayon, Culture Culinary. See you guys later. Over and out.